let's go let's go let's go oh yeah let's go to this one this is this is a bit of a heartbreaking story isn't it so um according to fashion demics uh that which i check irregularly from time to time but they have some pretty interesting news pertaining to the streetwear culture if you're a fan of all that malarkey definitely make sure you check them out it's essentially the fashion version or the streetwear version street style version the v loan wearing chrome hearts drenched version of uh dj academics platform where he essentially covers some of the most notable people within that scene and he's been kind of covering this story that i kind of saw a glimpse of the other day where supposedly cohen and lucas sabbath don't follow each other anymore right they're not friends and you know if you know anything about those guys from watching cohen frost uh, interview series and just seeing them parade themselves around on social media you'd know that they were quite close right there was a period in time when it felt like luca was maybe on the ascendancy of his modeling career and still hustling in the old dirty streets of new york that they were hanging around quite often and of course you know that guy becomes popular does his own thing and they sort of like you know they sort of um get a bit distant and not as close as they were in the past but still you could see that there was love there right they started from the mud they started together it was an organic relationship and then suddenly fashion mx reports hey these guys are falling out they're not following each other anymore but you know who, who gives a shit about who's following who right i've never checked who's following me i don't care if i follow someone they don't follow me back it's social media i don't give a crap you you click you you, you double tap you like you comment you move the fuck on but of course, you know, in this world of influencers and people um, that are quote unquote public figures, not following somebody back or unfollowing somebody is a big, big indication of trouble right behind the scenes things that are going on in real life and it's also a declaration of i've ended a friendship i'm not your friend anymore unfollow right that's basically what people do so that's an indication of it but unfortunately the reason behind the unfollow looks to be a lot more serious than um you might have envisioned or what we might have envisioned um according to what um fashion is reporting so it looks like Cohen Frost has split up with his longtime girlfriend, um, Erin. Um, you know, if you know anything about Cohen, especially going on his social media prior to him getting, I guess, with his new girl, that they were all, all over the social medias, all over some of the blog pages, all over some of the street where um, street style websites and shit, you know, walking hand in hand, a real power couple within the scene doing big things and having listened to the most recent the one actually, I think, yeah, Cohen actually deleted it from his YouTube channel, unfortunately. Um, there was an interview that he did with Lucas Sabah, I think the second one, where he essentially spoke a glo in glowing terms about how Erin essentially changed his life, right? She he came in and essentially um, got his business affairs in order, uh, put some protocols and practices in place and essentially just provided him with the best possible platform for him to, you know, go on and make Spaghetti Boys or whatever he's doing at the moment a big success. And it's, again, it's no coincidence that, you know, since he hooked up or since he got together with Erin and they've and they've got a kid and they got married and it's you know were essentially a a uh, functioning family that his career you know in terms of streetwear and all these sort of consultancy sort of stuff that he's doing um flourished right you see him standing around with kanye you see him going to fashion shows you see his collaboration with adidas it's no surprise that those things come hand in hand considering what he said on the, on the interview again i'm not reading into it what he said on the interview but unfortunately it looks like they're split up and i guess um cohen decided to announce it in the most scumbaggy way possible and this probably is a, a reason why i'm assuming why luca and cohen fell out i would assume so right because i guess because if this was my friend i'm not talking to you anymore either do you know what i mean like if I know you and I know your girl and you're actually together, again, not somebody you're hooking up with, like that's your actual girl, like you've got a kid together and you're married, you live together and shit and then you just walk out on her, like we're not boys, like that's it, you know what I mean? We're not boys, we're not, we're not talking for a good while, especially if you've got no good reason as to why you've done so and you just what, because you decided you're bored or being a dad, you're bored of being a husband, that's not good enough, do you know what I mean? So anyway, um, Fashion Demix reported on it and here's um the post that they reported on and it says the following, you've got a picture up here of Erin, you've got a picture picture up here of Kerwin with his new missus who looks you know oddly very familiar um to Kerwin and you've got Kerwin's post here that he posted on Instagram which is now private which makes sense good boy because I'm sure his comments are horrendous um it says the following caption is him sitting on top of a mountainside with his new girl with some pictures people here in the background maybe taking some new some content pictures he's going to share and he says the following we come in peace, love and unity. We live on light and we are orientated. We balance every scale. This guy's a piece of shit, mate. Oh my God. He's going for the woo-woo <laughs> explanation for him walking out of his family. Um, we uh, All roads open before us. Our destiny draws nearer to us in every breath. All weapons formed against us will fall. And I pity and... Uh, 
I, I, I pity the entirety that tries to form any, any against us. Is this guy, what is this? Is this Christian or is this just some like new age shit? Um, we divinely guided, protected, blessed, highly favored forever and ever. Amen. I guess it's Christian. Who, and who knows? But again, two sides to every story. I'm sure Cohen has his side to explain, but this optically wise doesn't look good, right? It doesn't look good. You've got a family, you've got a kid and you just walk out on them and then you post this online that's mad, isn't it? And then I guess um, reporting wise, um, he obviously got Cohen here in the comments saying, "I hope some of the, I hope, I hope they, I hope they register to vote," which is funny. And then of course, someone in the comments said the following: "That was fast." And another person report uh, replied back said, "Oh, for real, nigga, <laughs> ain't even letting marinate again." And then Aaron unfortunately commented too and said, "A complete and utter joke." Walked out on his family literally two weeks ago. Pathetic, like youch, man, youch. And I am. I was actually on Erin's profile the other day. She, I think, it's gone now. But she posted an entire stream of uh, video clips from the interview that Kerwin deleted. I'm, I'm sure she's got um, access to the hard copy because I'm sure she was doing and um, handling some stuff for him behind the scenes in terms of doing that interview. But the way he was talking so glowingly about his wife in that interview to now suddenly be in this place now where they've, it's just not on in it. It's just weird in it, especially playing out in public. So I guess the only thing to really glint glean from this i guess for kids coming up is that you know everyone goes through that what they're going through when it comes to relationships it is what it is right we've all got issues we've all got stuff that happens behind the scenes but i think there needs to be some common decency there needs to be some uh protocol some gentlemanly conduct that needs to happen when you are interacting with females or anybody that you're interested in you, because love does crazy things to people it really really does but if somebody has given you you know has, has essentially spent a lot of time with you you they deserve an explanation they deserve a a even an opportunity to mend the relationship in some way shape or form and if that's not possible then yeah as adults you go in your merry way but to sort of publicly um state that you've moved on in this really public way in you know again embarrassing your lady because you know she's not like a it'd be different if she was like an a person that was behind the scenes that no one actually knew but erin's very popular in her own regard right she's very popular in depop she's very popular you know on social media um with the with the stuff that she makes and just in general being a bit of a um, well-liked person she's got numerous fan accounts people actually like this girl right so she's a kind of public figure in her own regard and you obviously as an entity or public figures your own regard too so i'd imagine that she deserves a bit of an explanation she deserves a chance to maybe make it work or you deserve you deserve to not that you deserve but you should be um cognitive or aware of trying to explain your position in some way shape or form to the public that were kind of rooting from you from the outside and i guess that's the issue with having a public relationship as much as you shouldn't explain yourself to anybody because you're parading yourselves around and talking about how in glowingly terms all the time on social you sort of basically owe it to the to the people that follow you and to herself as well more importantly and if people get the people that follow you for an explanation but again what do i know and then i guess it can it continued on and there's a i think this is kind of the original post um from aaron as well i mean maybe a reply basically explaining what went on and again it doesn't it doesn't look good for my guy Kerwin, man it really paints him in a horrendous light again this is just one side of the story we don't know what Cohen's side of it but considering his personality and considering what we know of him from social this really does make some sense and oh god so um Arian posted this on a story via fashion demix Cohen walked out on me and waffle i guess that's their kid um legitimately 16 days ago i told him to just get some space go to la suggested splitting the professional from work because they work together right um from the family um to try to save the family family counseling individual therapy a vacation everything right that's what every that's what every wife should be doing again this is the thing modern era people are too quick to divorce people are too quick to split up but i do believe in the idea of counseling the idea of mediating the idea of trying to save a marriage because you know I, I haven't grown up with a family with a single parent, but I'd imagine it's pretty difficult, right? And if you have your two parents around, you, they should be trying everything within their powers to make it work. And if they can't make it work, then cool. Move on, split amicably and co-parent like, you know, like flipping flipping Lenny Kravitz does, right? Do that in that regard. Cool. Or like Kevin Hart does. You people, It can be done. But this quick, this kind of rush to split up and go chase the newer, brighter thing across the road is really, really gross. Um, it continues. Um, he was physically, but again, they're really young in it. So I don't know, man. Maybe they just got into it too fast anyway. Who knows? Um, it continues here. Uh, da, 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 da. Why did I continue here? 
Uh, bah, bah, bah. Oh, he was physically and verbally abusing me, but I let that shit slide to try and hold things together. Jesus Christ, like I always have. Okay, that's a bad, bad uh, accusation. I fell out of love due to I fell out of love due to a lack of support he shared after Waffle was born. This was never a fifty-fifty partnership, and I used to be able to handle it. But with baby responsibilities, I needed help, and this was his whiny crybaby man child. So this is another indication as to why I'm not a big believer in people praising or worshipping um, some of these public figures or social media influencers online. They are nobody. They are just like you and I. They make mistakes. They make errors. They misstep. They say crazy shit. You shouldn't in any uncertain terms be looking at them for as to be any kind of uh, moral compass, any kind of indication as to what you should do in your everyday life. You should view them for the fits, view them for the cultural insights, and that's about it. Draw a line underneath it because you don't know what's going on behind closed doors. This guy's on his social media parading around with his son, acting like a really proud dad and doing the great things, but behind the scenes, allegedly look what's going on i agreed to f i agreed to uh, finish up a few uh, pending deals with a standard manager commission attached for the rest for the first time right this is because again i'm guessing because as a relationship he was she wasn't taking any cut she was just helping him out on the strength of their love so we could uh, leave this with some cushion and without any loose ends I never took a paycheck or demanded equity in the business we established. It's very, very true. Especially if you remember, if you read, or if you remember the interview did with Luca, he definitely did make it seem as if they were a partnership. It wasn't like, you know, because I'm guessing on his side, he's now alleging that she was fleecing him. Again, really disgusting, really yucky, in it? Stuff to really be doing in public. But hey, I worked my fucking ass off for three years and he can't even tie his own shoes. <laughs> Literally. Is that why he's always wearing slip-ons and Velcro shoes? Oh, God almighty. Kerwin. In. then a few hours later he posts on his social media that we are no longer together oh yeah yeah i'm no longer able to represent him because he just embarrassed our family with the same narcissistic selfish uh selfie from three weeks ago asking for prayers yeah that's really terrible that's the thing in it as well like embarrassing the family in public that's the thing you need to be able oh this is so bad this is so bad so so bad man if true um he signed a lease in two days to live 40 minutes away in a five-bedroom apartment in a dangerous neighborhood uh, uh and wowed by the price not smart when you're a public figure who's had many threatening and violent interactions yeah oh yeah do you remember <laughs> the epic fight with ian connor he actually held his own there but again you know holding your own holding your own against ian connor isn't much of a uh victory in it really he's like what 40 pounds soaking wet uh but i agreed to 50 50 custody and had him come pick up waffle three days later uh, what three days later for three days he was one hour late he called two days later and screamed at me to come and get him literally threw her at me with a pee sipping through her diaper jesus christ i scheduled mediation he didn't even show up but because his hair appointment took longer than he thought yo this guy is future level scumbags isn't it god damn it cohen I didn't know you were doing shit like that behind the scenes, man. You treat thoughts like this, but the mother of your child should have some level of respect or decency. No matter, that's what I would imagine. So again, unless somebody gives you a reason to be an absolute cock to them, especially if there's a mother of your children, you should be trying your best to be courteous as you can, isn't it? Um, but again, love does crazy things, man. Love is like grief, isn't it? It does crazy things to people. It makes people super irrational. Um, a few days later, I offered to meet him solely to help transition work stuff over. As I could tell, he has no plan and was scrambling. I tell him I'm t looking at apartments in Soho. A few hours later, I literally walk into him and his hussy playing puppy love in the street. Oh! What a cunt. Nine days after, <laughs> nine days after he left. Oh, and she's not new. They dated before we met. Meanwhile, he's telling his assistant to coordinate the move for him because he can't do a damn thing for himself. The assistant quit work for him, by the way. <laughs> quit to work for, quit to work for me, by the way. Okay, cool. Um, that's why he needs a new mummy. I guess that's a way easier than trying to sort out your own responsibilities like a man. But he isn't one. He needs intensive therapy and time alone to um, heal from the whirlwind of romance he had for three years. Exactly. Jesus Christ, man. Literally making magic happen with our bare hands and birthing an angel. But his priorities are all wrong. I didn't force him to do anything ever. I'd love to claim what? I, he'd love to claim I was a puppet master, but I literally made his dreams come true. Oh, oh, oh Cohen, you are a scumbag, according to this man. God damn it, you're a bad guy. Um, the last fight we had was about him auditioning for a voiceover part in Baby Shark. <gasps> 
I put together an incredible pitch for a Christmas special that I saw he was hesitant about, but I believed in. The last communication we had about it were texts of me saying, okay, take at least one week, uh, one look at the deck and link if you want. Um, and it should we should kill it. He said, I love it. There is so much more. I have 40 pages of journals. This morning he talked to the mediator. We, he talked to the mediator and were rescheduled to him to waffle this weekend blah 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 oh jesus christ she secured so many bags for this guy it seems i was like god damn it next slide this is i guess his post he said my past relationship was toxic Aaron was my manager and we had not spoken about anything outside the business for the past four months we're already practicing co-parenting and left alone we're not able to break separation from the two houses that are work and i love and it was always a sticky situation we fell out of love she has ended it with me when i wanted to relieve myself from work past telephone um and wanted to get back to work uh what go up past telephone get back to work which i didn't agree with and i realized i had to get out of this relationship when you generally love somebody and all they care about is money they make you they make off you it's time to go oh. but you can't do this about it, mother again i don't i don't condone this behavior even if she is fleecing you even if she is you know um, essentially bleeding you dry you should never treat the mother of your children like this in public. I don't I don't agree with this whatsoever. Especially, no, you don't do this. I, you don't do this. I don't agree with this whatsoever. Young kids, if you're watching, don't do this. I have found freedom and happiness over everything. God damn it, this guy. And I guess it's the post of him with his new girl. 2020. And then what was the last one? And then I guess um, to crown the, obviously the cancellation and the, the turn of events, Lucas Abbott got on his uh, Instagram live and declared... I've never heard of a Kerwin in my life, man. I don't know what you're talking about. There we have it then, isn't it? Um, Kerwin's essentially left his family, been abandoned by his best friend, allegedly, and is now telling people to go vote. <laughs> what an absolute shit show of a situation. But again, conclusion of this story, lessons to be learned. Don't idolize influencers. Look at them for the fits or cultural relevance, whatever it is that they, entertainment that they um, provide you on the timeline. You never know what these guys are getting up to privately. But if there is a lesson to be learned from this directly, never ever treat the mother of your children with this level of disrespect. Never treat your wife with this level of disrespect, especially in public. Try your best to deal with the situation behind closed doors um, as privately as you can. And if if it then requires you to come out, out, you know, if your name is being slandered or you feel as if the story is being misconstrued in some really egregious way, cool come out and speak your piece but say it again in a very respectful manner there is a way to say these things there is a way to conduct yourself in public especially when it's concerning someone that you love somebody you're in a relationship with a committed relationship with and this in my opinion isn't the way to go about it but again what do i know <laughs>